Okay, my apologies. Let's start from the top. Google way out. Okay, so répétez, class, s'il vous plaît. Répétez. Au stade. Au café. Au cinéma. Au centre commercial. Au restaurant. Au magasin. Au parc. Au skate park. À l'école. À la bibliothèque. À la piscine. Chez moi. Chez mon ami. Chez McDo. Excellent. Ouvrez vos paquets à page 8. Ouvrez vos paquets à page 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Ouvrez vos paquets à page 8. Okay, so you are going to be labeling the location. So make sure the pictures are matching up correctly. And then you need to save space for another activity. So if you want to write it like up at the top or something like that of the box, that might be a good idea because we're going to be writing some other stuff in the bottom. So let's go ahead and label these locations. Ok, vous avez une minute. Okay, let's go ahead and do the other ones.
Ok. Très bien. Alrighty, now as a table, I want you to write and brainstorm different activities for different locations. For example, what can we do à la piscine? À la piscine, we can nager. Okay, what can we do au parc? We can manger, we can dessiner, we can écouter de la musique, jouer au foot, jouer au football américain, etc. So pick the most logical activities. Okay, logical. That means it's something that I would agree to. So don't go way crazy out there with your ideas. Be practical and try and have one to three activities per location. And everyone's going to record these on that same page that we just labeled on, okay? So you have four minutes to work with your table. You're all going to be writing and brainstorming what different activities you can do at different locations. Ok, vous avez deux minutes, deux minutes, so keep brainstorming as your table, remembering everyone's writing down the different activities that you can do at different locations. Vous avez 70 secondes, 70 secondes. Trente secondes, trente secondes.
Ok, très bien. Okay, attention, s'il vous plaît, on va parler en cinq. Quatre, trois, deux, un, zéro. Merci. D'accord, répétez, classe, répétez. Au stade. Au café. Au cinéma. Au centre commercial. Au restaurant. Au magasin. Au parc. Au skate park. À l'école. À la bibliothèque. À la piscine. Chez moi. Chez mon ami. Chez McDo. Excellent. OK. You need to be the first out of you and your elbow partner to translate the sentence. Winners are going to be getting euros, so uh, make sure you are keeping track, okay? So I'm going to show you a sentence in French, and I'll read it to you, and then you need to be the first out of you and your elbow partner to translate that sentence into French. Okay, here we go. Trois, deux, un. Je vais regarder la télé chez moi. So whoever said, I am going to watch TV at my house first, gets the point. Here we go. Trois, deux, un. Je vais écouter de la musique au parc. I am going to listen to music at the park. Whoever said that first gets the point. Okay, trois, deux, Hein? Je vais jouer au jeu vidéo chez mon ami. I am going to play video games at my friend's house. Whoever said that first gets the point. Trois, deux, un. Je vais nager à la piscine. I am going to swim at the pool. Toi, deux, un. Je vais faire du shopping au centre commercial. I'm going to go shopping at the mall. Je vais faire du skateboard au skate park. I'm going to skateboard at the skate park. So whoever said that gets the point. Je vais manger chez McDo. I am going to eat at McDonald's. Je vais regarder un match de basket au stade. So, I am going to watch, not to play, if you said to play, you don't get the point. I'm going to watch a basketball game at the stadium or arena or however you translated it. Je vais lire à l'école. I am going to read at school. Excellent. Alors, ça va bien? Ça va comme ci, comme ça, ou ça va mal? Okay, guest teacher, you can go ahead and pause this video and then pass out euros to the person who won in each pair that was participating. Okay, if we have time, let's go ahead and do this activity. If not, if you want to fast forward 
and um, we can do a more calm writing, but hopefully we have time for this. So we're going to do a dice roll. So just a reminder, we've done this before, but you roll the die one time for each section. According to the number, you write down the appropriate phrase, and you keep rolling the dice randomly until you've made the full sentence. And then you will begin again making another sentence. And the person with the most sentences at the end of the time is the winner. Okay, so uh, let's go through these. So for quand or when, répétez. Ce weekend je vais. Le lundi je vais. Le jeudi je vais. Le samedi je vais. Le vendredi je vais. L'été je vais. And then quoi? What are we doing? Répétez. Jouer au basket. Faire les devoirs. Faire une sieste, regarder Netflix, travailler, danser. And then, avec qui? With whom? Répétez. Avec ma grande mère, avec mon petit ami, avec personne, avec mon ami, avec ma famille, avec mon chat. I hope one of you get dancing with your dog because that would be super great. And then, ou répétez, au centre commercial, au parc, chez moi, à l'école, à la piscine, à la bibliothèque. Okay, I'm going to now give you time to turn to page 9 in your packet. You also have these there, um, so if they're too small on the board, not to worry. So you're going to turn to page 9. Our guest teacher is going to pass out the dice, and then I'm going to let her start and control the timer. So if you need to do it shorter so you can clean up, you can. Okay, bien. Alors, ça va bien? Ça va comme ci, comme ça? Ou ça va mal? Okay, répétez. Au stade? Au café? Au cinéma? Au centre commercial? Au restaurant? Au magasin? Au parc? Au skate park? À l'école, à la bibliothèque, à la piscine, chez moi, chez mon ami, chez McDo, chez son ami, oh. chez lui. Chez son ami is at his friends or at her friends. And then chez lui is at his house or at her house. So we've seen son sasse before. So chez son ami is at his or her friend's house. Chez lui means at his house or at her house. Okay. Alors, répétez, qu'est-ce que tu vas faire ce weekend? Ce weekend, je vais... Uh, page 9, tournez à la page 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, on number 1, you are going to answer the question, Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire ce weekend? It's like we did earlier this week. And be sure this time to include where in your answer. So again, the question is, Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire ce weekend? And you're going to answer on number one, ce weekend je vais, and then your activity, your location, and if you want to add a parce que c'est, you can do that.
Ok. Maintenant. Ok, so ask your classmates the following question. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire après l'école? Record what they are going to do and where. If they include why, you do not need to record why. For example, Will va lire chez Louis at his house. Ok, Louis va manger chez McDo. Chanté va nonger à la piscine. Auriel va aller à un match de foot au stade. Karina va étudier à la bibliothèque. Bailey va faire du shopping au centre commercial. Ok. Répétez. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire après l'école? Après l'école, je vais. And then whatever activity. And the location. And then if you have parce que c'est. You can add that as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to our classmates, record their responses.